Alright guys, so Apple finally came out with the official way for you to update your earpods. Whether you have the earpods 4, the earpods pro 2, or even the earpods max. And in this video, I'll be going over the method that Apple suggests that you should do in order to update your earpods. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is grab the Apple device that you connect your earpods to. So whether that be the iPhone, the Mac, or the iMac. But in this case, I'll be using my iPhone. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi and also make sure that the Bluetooth is on and the next thing you want to take your earpods in this case I have the earpods pro 2 right here you want to take it and make sure that it is in close range to your phone so it's like within Bluetooth range so once your Wi-Fi is on and it's in Bluetooth range just go ahead and put your earpods in your case and go ahead and close the lid just like that. Then next thing you want to do is go ahead and plug your earpods in a USB charger. So go ahead and plug in the first end right here and then plug in the other end into a power source. So basically you want to charge your earpods for it to update. So make sure that it is plugged in and it is in close Bluetooth range and the Wi-Fi on your iPhone is turned on. All right, so while it's charging, basically keep the lid closed like this and just wait around 30 minutes and then after after waiting around 30 minutes, you want to go ahead and reconnect your EarPods Pro 2 to your iPhone. So you can go ahead and just do it like this. Make sure it's connected like that. Give it some time. And now it's connected. And once it's connected, just go ahead and check the firmware and make sure you're on the latest firmware. So go to settings and go to EarPods Pro settings or whatever EarPods you're using. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then right here, you should see the firmware version that you're on so right here you can see i'm on firmware version 7e67b so that's the latest firmware that i'm on right now and in order to know which firmware is the latest firmware you can go ahead and head on over to the apple website that shows you the firmware version that's the latest so usually i just go to like google and type in earpods firmware apple and i'll just usually click on the first link so i could show you guys that in a second so as you can see right there i usually type in like AirPods Pro 2 firmware click on the first link right there and then scroll down and then you should see the latest firmware right there now I'm not sure why I'm on a different version um, let me just double check again I think I might have the beta or something on my phone but let's just double check real quick yeah I think I might have the beta installed that's why let's see no I don't have the beta on so I'm not sure why I'm on that version so maybe I need to like actually put it in my ears in order to see the correct version maybe so let's close out of that because I could have sworn I updated these a long time ago so I'm not sure why I'm seeing a different firmware version or maybe this is actually the latest firmware version and it's not actually updated on the website as yet who knows if you're not too sure if that's the latest version you can just wait out the 30 minutes and see if it upgrades to whatever is on the website. Now, one thing to note, I've seen in the past where the website is not updated instantly. It usually takes some time to update or like a day or a couple of hours after they actually release the update. Maybe I just happen to be making this video while they release a new firmware version update today. So who knows? But the best way to go about this, I'll just give it some time and wait to see if it changed to 7B21, which I believe I had 7B21. All right, so let's say you want to upgrade your EarPods 4. So it's basically the same procedure. You want to make sure that the iPhone that you're connected to is on Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is on. And then you want to make sure that the EarPods 4 is in Bluetooth range of the iPhone. So once you have that done, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and put your ear pods inside the case so let's just go ahead and put the ear pods inside the case like that and then once it's in the case go ahead and close the lid and then go ahead and plug it to a charger like that and let it charge and just let it sit for around 30 minutes or so so once 30 minutes is passed the next thing you want to do is go ahead and check the firmware version so in order to check the firmware version just type in like earpods 4 firmware in google and click on the first link and it will bring you to this apple support page right here it should look something like this i'll try to leave a link to this down below in the description also and so as you can see right here the latest firmware for the earpods 4 with active noise cancellation is 7b20 
and then you want to match that inside the settings so you should see that you're on 7b20 so just go ahead and connect your ear pods real quick and then scroll all the way to the bottom as usual and as you can see the latest firmware right there is 7b20 so that way you will know that your ear pods has been updated and if you have an ear pods max and you want to upgrade it it's basically the same procedure make sure that your iphone is connected to wi-fi and it is in bluetooth range of your iphone and then just go ahead and plug it into a charger and then wait around 30 minutes or so and then you should be able to check the firmware and check to see if it's on the latest firmware now apple suggested that that if after doing this your ear pods is still not updated to the latest latest firmware just go ahead and reset your ear pods and try to update it again now if you want to know how to reset your ear pods 4 or your ear pods pro 2 i have some videos on how to do that so go ahead and click that it will be on screen or somewhere in the description so go ahead and check those videos out if for some reason after doing that you try it again reset your ear pods is still not updating to the latest firmware um, personally one thing i would suggest is make sure that the device that you're connected to is on the latest apple update so whether it be ipad os mac os or ios make sure it's on the latest software update so that way you can get the latest firmware update for your earpods from that because i believe you have to be on the latest software update in order to get the latest firmware update on your earpods and if after doing that it's still not updating your earpods just go ahead and ask yourself like have you ever updated your earpods or have your earpods ever been updated and ask yourself where did you get your earpods from because there might be a high possibility that you have a fake earpods so that's just one thing to note also but that's pretty much it for this video guys let me know down below in the comment section if this video was helpful to you guys and also i want to give a huge shout out to zolo tech because he's been the one who's actually pushing for apple to come out with like a manual way for you to update your earpods i mean this is not really a manual way but at least we get some official way finally on how to update your earpods because before it was kind of a little bit of guessing like hey you got to play a little bit Bit of music first and then your earpods will update or hey you have to do this first for your earpods to update it has to be in close range for five minutes it was all different kind of stuff but now apple finally gave us an official method on how to update your earpods so going forward hopefully a lot of people will be able to update their earpods pretty easy and faster because i know in the past a lot of people complain about not getting the earpods firmware update when everyone is getting it so hopefully this will make everyone want earpods to have the latest firmware update easier so yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and also subscribe for more videos on the earpods and also subscribe because we're almost at 5,000 subscribers and i want to get to 5,000 subscribers before the earpods pro 3 come out because i might be giving away a earpods pro 3 so i'll see you guys in my next video peace